Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist for Avid. With the S6, Avid is giving the user many ways to see and work with mixing audio. By having the ability to see the waveforms on the display modules gives the mixer a view into what audio needs to be mixed right from the surface. With the 1.2 software update, Avid takes this waveform view a step further by adding the ability to edit a clip right from the encoders on the surface. In this video, we will take a look at how to use this new functionality. Editing from the channel strip is only available for M40 users with display modules in Pro Tools at this time. It will also require Pro Tools HD 11.2 or later. To edit from the channel strip, first you need to make sure that the clip you want to edit is under the playhead. Then, put the channel's encoders into edit mode from the process module. You will see a yellow outline around the clip that is to be edited on both the display module and on the Pro Tools edit screen. There are eight parameters to edit a clip with. Trim back of clip. Trim front of clip. Move and nudge clip. Clip gain. Fade out a clip, fade in a clip, set nudge value, and undo redo. On a five knob system as shown here, you will see the first four parameters and then you can page over to the second four parameters. On a nine knob system, you would see all eight parameters at once, top to bottom. You can use either the encoder or the select end switches next to the encoder to change the values, except for undo redo, which can only be accessed with the select end switches. You can also use the new waveform zoom on the display modules to be able to see more or less detail of what is being edited. On a five knob system, having to page back and forth between the editing pages can get tedious. In this case, it is easier to edit in expand mode. Just press the expand process switch from the process module on the channel you want to edit from, then press the edit switch. Now you will see all eight parameters at once to be able to edit from them. Editing clips from the channel strip on S6 brings a new level of usability to working with audio from a control surface. It allows the mixer to make quick changes to a clip without having to switch over to using a mouse and keyboard, keeping the attention at the surface. This new feature, as well as other new features in the S6 1.2 software release, take S6 to another level of functionality and workflow enhancements. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.